Astros section. Hey, how's it going everyone? AJ Mag2 here, and today we're going to be doing Detroit Become Human Walkthrough Part 5. So make sure you hit that like button now, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on YouTube, and click the little bell so that way you'll get all notifications. And share, share, share. So we're just going to be doing Part 5, so let's get to it. I also like to give a shout out to the one viewer who viewed my last video, uh, Detroit Become Human, Detroit to Become Human Walkthrough Part Four. I like to give a shout out to him. And plus, leave a comment. In, like I said in my vlog yesterday, 19 hours ago, um, leave a comment in the video if you think I should start my own vlog channel as well. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, so now we're at the Eden Club. Sexiest androids alive. Sexiest androids in town. We're in town, sorry. I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Connor, the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's... Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Only like wasting time. Is some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Okay, so we analyze the android now. Next, it's the guy. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. <laughs> Calm down. Everything's 
all right. All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't... Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Again. And again. I Were you alone him. in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what... What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Okay, so now we need to find an android. An eyewitness. Victim? No, we, we came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? Come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months before. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Now we need to rent that android so that way we'll be able to. Can you rent this tracing? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Alright, so now we need to probe that Android's memory. Saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be working. You always gotta do this one. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I knew it. All right, so it went that way. So now we need to go to the blue room.
All right, so this might get confused for some people, but don't right after you see that see that room that I just went into, you gotta go to this android. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking a. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. We need to find the android. So they break and then they get tossed out. man broke the other Tracy I knew I was next I was so scared I begged him to stop but he wouldn't and so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving I didn't mean to kill him I just wanted to stay alive get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. Okay. 
to the next one. Lucko had a car. I would want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. The Arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning. We have just learned that the USS Iowa, the destroyer, never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't need any humans along the way. Alright, so now in this part we need to find shelter. This doesn't look good. Stay inside. Do. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. All right, so now we need to find some shelter. Find anything? No. No place we can spend the night. to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Yeah, 
Hang on, guys. Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I could kill you, you know. And you would just come back. What'll happen if I pull point my right ass? Point you. You think you're so Emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it, so an android had to. T Hello, everyone. I'm going to show you how to. Well, we need to go in. Mark, in is a lot. The Jericho. Well, we need to go to the. In Sorry, we remain a machine. All right, so the next chapter is Crossroads. It's a very quick chapter when everyone else is already dead. Eventually, you're going to meet uh, North. You're going to remain a deviant. Or, I'm sorry, re remain a machine, actually. And then, as you're trying to track down North, chasing her, you're going to get, uh, hang, uh, I'll be back. For yourself. And for Cole. I understand. Now leave me alone. Get out of here. And you, and you also get the platinum, probably. And north, so there, Abner. My mission. All right. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Are some cookies left? Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry.
Alice? Sorry guys. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then she met a robot. Hang on, guys. Okay, sorry, guys. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but. They wanted so badly to be free that they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to travel with them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people 
and set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. I didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Kara! All right, so now we need to go take Alice to the... to the merry-go-round. Or carousel. Leave a comment in the video if you call it the carousel or merry-go-round. Be our guest! Because I call it the carousel. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! Connor. Okay, so in this one, you'll find a magazine in order to get your magazine trophy done. You'll find it over here.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I would have shot them if I could. Why would I let them escape? I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Okay, so that didn't go as planned.
can't stay silent anymore. Nice try. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay, so now we're at the Stratford Tower. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. your ID the elevator hang on guys I just need to go back and do something accessing the story chart All right, so what you saw here, so what you saw here, here, that's exactly what you need to do in order for Hank not to kill you, but I'm just going to kill myself because I got to do a trophy, like I said.
Nice view, uh huh? Nice. Right, in a second. They come here a lot before. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I would have shot them if I could. Why would I let them escape? I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Now, this is something that you should not do. Android but heaven? Like I said, I'm just trying to do. Do, uh. Um, nothing. Uh. Trophy. There would be nothing. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. What? That's weird. It should work.